Hi, my name is Amber, and I want to tell you about something that changed my life. I was born and raised in a Christian home. I went to church, I prayed, I read my Bible, I believed in Jesus. Um, in eighth grade, I was in a worship service, and I felt the presence of the Holy Spirit. I realized in that moment that Jesus is a personal being, and that I could have a personal relationship with Him. After that, I began to pursue a personal relationship with Him. But something odd happened. I started to have this weird competition with myself to be the very best that I could be. I felt that if I wasn't perfect, then I couldn't be in a relationship with Jesus. This put a lot of anxiety on me and a lot of um, stress on me. I began to feel really empty inside. I longed to be satisfied. I longed to be filled. In high school, I started talking to a boy. I really liked this boy and I really respected him. So when I found out that he liked me, I got really excited. I felt that finally I'd gotten the affirmation that I needed, uh, that I was doing a good job with my life. But I craved his opinions of me and his approval of me. I longed for him to tell me that I was doing a good job. Anything that wasn't a direct affirmation of me, I took as a rejection. Even simple things like him choosing not to sit next to me made me feel terrible about myself. I basically pegged all of my emotions on his opinions of me. And it didn't matter how much he affirmed me, I still wanted more. Later on in high school, I started having problems eating. I would come home at night and I would eat and I would eat a lot of food. It didn't matter how much food I ate, I never felt full. I always felt empty inside. And I would get so angry with myself for doing it that I would promise not to do it. Again, and the next day, I would, I would do it again. I remember getting so angry one night that I took a pencil and I dug it into my skin just to punish my behavior. I wanted so badly to get out of that cycle, but I couldn't. And I remember crying at night um, just because I was so frustrated and I was so angry. And I didn't understand it because I was a Christian. I wasn't supposed to be feeling this way. I was supposed to have the fullness of life and I, I felt empty inside. I decided to give my summer to seeking God. I diligently prayed and read the word, um, and I sought, I sought for God. And in that summer, I felt a contentment with God. But I feared that when I went back to my life, I would fall back into the same habits. And sure enough, when I started school and work again, I did, I fell back into the same patterns. And I remember crying out to Jesus and saying, Jesus, you are enough. You are enough. And I realized that God is good and he is mighty. That nothing I could do would ever earn his love. But because of Jesus' sacrifice, he was able to give that love to me. My life is now a response to his goodness. It's not a means to his love. Every day, he is making me more and more able to live a loving and pleasing life to him. And in that, I find my satisfaction. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you're going through, what your spiritual life is like. Um, but if you want to talk to me more about my testimony um, and about the man that has set me free, then I would love to talk to you. My email address will appear at the bottom of the screen, and um, feel free to email me. Thanks for watching.